Uh, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. US dairy there is creeping up higher towards the all time high at 71.51 today, as uh, most global markets are uh, actually moving in tandem this morning um, after some okay figures uh, kind of came out yesterday, some kind of lukewarm Chinese um, industrial production. Um, but we also have a whole bunch of PMI data coming out later on today, and obviously a whole bank of central bank, a whole bunch of central bank um, data due out, including the ECB meeting on Thursday, which is absolutely pummeling the euro right now as well. So um, global markets looking like they're having a, a retest this morning to try and break out that little bit higher. Uh, UK 100 also breaking through potential resistance at 68.32, eyeing up 68.74. Technical indicators are beginning to look slightly overbought, but there's still a little bit of extra room for maneuver as we close in on that next potential resistance level. Japan 225 absolutely smashed it overnight. Big uh, banking policy reforms uh, over in Japan. Uh, obviously, economics still looking quite strong there as well. Dollar yen had some very, very strong moves overnight as well as people started buying Japanese equities at the expense of safe haven yen. Um, we're now looking at potential um, resistance at 15,828. This is a very, very strong technical breakout above the potential uh, resistance at 15,488. So, um, Japan 225 up almost 2% this morning. So let's have a look at dollar yen. Dollar yen finally smashing through 104 spot 67, eyeing up now uh, a multi-year high at 105 spot 44. So the dollar looking fantastic. The yen retreating because risk on is big, is, is, is doing well. Uh, the U.S. Um, kind of stimulus uh, aspect, the QE, are is, is finishing up at some point sooner. Bond buying program, sorry, just as the eurozone are potentially mulling their own QE. So that's why euro dollar will be keenly in focus the next couple of sessions as well. So um, crude oil was Texas, unable to break through 97 spot 64, which is a bit unfortunate. It might be consolidating around about this level. We're not really picking a direction as of yet, but we're on the wrong side of potential resistance right here. Uh, we need to break and close above that to rechallenge $99. So gold will be feeling the pain because that's stronger USD. It's completely reverse course now, eyeing up potential support at $12.67. Um, and you know, we are kind of in the middle of two ranges right now, but this, this looks to be following a similar pattern to what we had here, where we had a bit of a rally, then a downtrend, rally, downtrend, rally, downtrend and then probably end up having another smaller rally further on down the line. But um, gold weakening in the face of an appreciating uh, greenback right there. So moving on to euro dollar, um, we're getting quite close now to potential support one spot 31.07. Uh, break and close below that, I guess, open, well, looking at the technical chart aspect right here, that really does open up a move below 130, below one uh, spot 29. Really the next potential support level here on the daily chart is closer to one spot 27.46, but that's actually quite a distance away. I guess you could look at the tips of these candles right here for one spot 30, if that actually draw that in. Uh, there we go. Uh, pretty much that would be the next potential support level should one spot 3107 uh, get broken. Finishing up with GBP USD, uh, reverse course again as the dollar uh, is just uh, ramping up across the board, across all the majors, uh, we challenge a potential support one spot at 65.58, then I up one spot at 64.63. So economic data wise, we do have a whole bunch of the uh, Eurozone PMI, it's actually select the right day. Um, we do, this is a figure that many uh, traders will be looking at today, this is a US figure, and it's their ISM, uh, ISM Manufacturing Survey, Manufacturing PMI, and um, this is worthy of having an alert set on there, and that will have an impact on cable, Euro dollar, Dow, gold, um, dollar yen, incidentally. We're hoping for a very, very strong figure here. And that would just add extra strength to the to stoke the flames that the U.S. economy is recovering faster, and that the the dollar is looking good, and that the bond buying program in the U.S. will become an end. So there's a lot of reasons to have a look at this today, and obviously tomorrow we still have loads more PMI data in Europe and UK, uh, and that's that's pretty much it. And then obviously Thursday you've got the ECB meeting, which uh, is going to have and you can finally put to rest: uh, is there going to be QE? in uh, the Eurozone this month or not. Um, keep your eye on the chart forum as ever, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.